In this video, I'm going to show you how to um, go through the process of discovering one of these semi-regular tessellations. So what I would do is I'd look through my uh, chart of um, polygons and their interior angles. And what I'd do is I'd realize that this is a very promising combination, the equilateral triangle with an angle of 60 and the hexagon with an angle of 120. And again, there's going to be multiple ways of combining these. And again, my logic is always going to be that if it, they have to go, if these shapes have to fit around one vertex, they have to go all the way around that vertex. So these angles are going to have to add up to 360. And the order makes a difference. So you can do different ones if you put the shapes in one order as compared to another. So let's say 60 and 120, that adds up to 180. So if I do two of each of these, it'll add up to 360. So that should be one of the possibilities. So I'm going to go with two equilateral triangles and two hexagons. So uh, I'm going to start with a equilateral triangle. So here I am. And then I can either put a second one here and then do the hexagon or put the hexagon first, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do a triangle, a hexagon, and I'm going to go around this vertex. Make sure it works for one vertex first. So triangle, hexagon, another triangle, and then another hexagon. So now I have it. It works for one. Now, especially on other ones, you have to make sure it works for all of them. So now here's my idea. I have hexagon, hex, hexagon, triangle, hexagon, triangle. So I want to do the same thing here. So hexagon, triangle. I need another hexagon here. So uh, let me grab my hexagon. And I need another triangle here. Okay, it's uh, on this side. It's hexagon, triangle, and then another hexagon. So I'm going to already, since I'm already here, I'm going to go ahead and do my hexagon here. Okay, and then I'm going to create some triangles. So there's a triangle here. Triangle here, triangle here, triangle here, okay. And so, as you can see, it seems to be working. It's working for multiple ones. So I could keep going, of course, and expand it. So it's triangle, hexagon, triangle, and then my hexagon is going to fit here. It's triangle, hexagon, triangle, and then there's going to be another one here. So let's just do a couple more hexagons, but you can see now that it's going to work. So I put another hexagon here, put another hexagon here, and put another hexagon here. Okay, so that's good enough to show that it works. I mean, we could fill in these three, but basically we see that the pattern is going to keep going. So uh, again, the way this one was Triangle, hexagon, triangle, hexagon. Every vertex should have the same pattern. Triangle, hexagon, triangle, hexagon. Triangle, hexagon, triangle, hexagon. So what I'm going to do is save this as, so I would create a new page, and I call this triangle, hexagon, triangle, hexagon. Okay? So I've now gotten the first of my eight, okay? And just because I've used these already doesn't mean that there may not be another one that combines these in a different way. Okay, good luck.